prosthetic limbs have become increasingly advanced, but the way they attach to the body has changed little in recent years. Now a UK-based company is hoping its product, which standardises the connection hardware, will change all that. And it says it'll reduce the cost of artificial limbs by a third. Right now, sockets, we spend tens of thousands of dollars per year per patient and you replace them every six months. So it's constantly throwing away some very expensive technology. And instead we decided that's an important piece that the patient needs to live with. And we get that right once and then you can actually save a lot of money in the long run. Best known for its use in gaming, virtual and augmented reality has also come to the health sector. Being able to rehearse keyhole surgery using little more than a cardboard box and a smartphone or exploring a virtual human body in 3D makes learning much more interactive. Giving students access to a virtual reality anatomy toolkit like this one certainly brings medical school into the 21st century. It makes this type of stuff much more accessible. All you need is a VR headset and a PC. And it also makes this type of knowledge much easier to learn. We live in a 3D world and uh, our brain thinks in 3D. But most of the existing educational materials are in 2D. So even the X-rays, CT scans are seen in 2D format. And it's very important to identify which blood vessel flows through which part of the brain, which blood vessel flows through which part of the face, to see these things clearly before performing a surgery. Innovations also being shown in the use of animals in medical diagnosis. More than 10,000 people in Tanzania have now been diagnosed with tuberculosis using these rats, which can smell the disease in their spit. Now the charity which runs the program wants to use rats to tackle other diseases. Using a similar but um, you know, maybe more locally appropriate solution in um, the Western world or also potentially in Africa itself, we think that they can be trained on any disease with a unique smell, including cancer. Held every two years in Qatar, the summit also aims to advance the best new ideas in health policy from around the world. It's hoped these, along with innovative technologies, will help address one of the most universal of human challenges, better health for us all. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Doha.